It's a nice noise though. Okay, today I'm test driving the SV650 with uh, some fucking dodgy ass mirrors. Ugh. There we go. That's better. It's got a gear indicator. Nice fuel bar. It's all LCD display. Yeah, hold on, just give it. Oh, that pulls well for a little. It's so small! I'm not used to a bike this small anymore! <laughs> it's so weird. You got engine heat, taco, speed, time, fuel, and three circles, which obviously means something. But I've not a clue what they mean. Oh, look. Ugh. My brain told me I was in high gear, despite the fact it says the gears. Seat's nice and sculpted, and it feels quite hard though. The bike's very fucking light, though again, I have come from somewhat of a monster. I'll be honest, I can't remember any of the torque or power figures. I'll put them on the screen now for you. Pulls away really nicely actually, which is quite nice. It is a fucking lovely bike. It's nice and grunty. I like the noise even from standard. That kind of good old V-twin sound. I miss that to be honest. But at the same time, I do like a good woo when you're mad. So. What time did I actually leave? I don't remember what time I left. <laughs> Whoops. I've not been out that long, so... Uh, give it 40 minutes from now, it'll be 11 o'clock. It is really grunty, I like it. If I had a bike by myself, just go to work and back on. Actually, to see how the comfort is, and you could probably cover quite a few miles on this, to be honest. Brakes are good. I mean, they're not instant. You need to give them a squeeze, but I've had a lot worse brakes. Nice winding bit of road. Please don't be stuck on this car for too long. I have to try for an overtake at some point. See what it's like. I can actually see better out of that, and that tells me what's right next to me. So it is. It's sort of stuck there you now. See how many miles has this done? I can't tell. So I don't know how new the tyres are either. It is very light, very steady, very stable. I like it. This is a nice bike. I guarantee you that you will enjoy this if you ride it. Oh shit, is this a junction? <laughs> Thank you very much. That is a lovely machine. Very nice and punchy. Nice noise to it. There's not actually a lot of wind blast, which is strange. I was seen to be getting more wind blast earlier. I suppose the wind has gone down a bit, hasn't it? And I am only doing 45. I have to think about my overtaking more now. Oh, you can feel the wind with no screen, can't you? I forgot about that! <laughs> this is a nice bike. This is a very nice bike. I'm going to get back on mine. Oh, the clutch is like trying to lift a brick with your pinky finger. Ugh. This is, such a, this is really a nice little bike. It's not very wide, you can probably filter quite easily on this. Keep an eye on the time. It's been 10 minutes, I know that much, it's been 10 minutes. Oh, it's got a... Tell me my miles to gallon, 61.2 miles to the gallon at the moment. Average, that is nice. It tells me it's an Imperial, I think. By the looks of it, I can also change it to Kilometres to the litre, or how many per hundred kilometres or something? Good to know I'm averaging out at 61.2. That's crawling through town, that is good. I purposely went over them then just to see what the suspension is like. The suspension is a bit hard. 
jostled me quite a bit there, but perhaps it's because I'm used to the weight of mine kind of balancing it out. I'll be honest, he told me a route to do, I can't remember what it was. And I said Roxham, and then back. And but it wasn't it wasn't just that, it wasn't just go to Roxham and come back again. It was some route. It's like you know the route, and I just went, yes. But then the answer should have been no. Okay. <laughs> you just have to, don't you? I've gone the wrong way. <laughs> oh well. <sighs> oh, it's quite. Actually, no, that evens itself out nicely. I think it must have been just been that bump. I guess I'm feeling this has got fairly new tyres on it. <laughs> I just want the bridge again. This is a very flickable bike, it's a very nice bike. Uh, probably get a screen on it if you're going to go long distance, or obviously if you're during the winter, because this country is not exactly known for brilliant weather. So I'll keep an eye on that. The display is nice. The fact it tells you in miles to gallon is nice. The seat is not affecting me at all yet. It is quite fruity noise for a standard exhaust. I hope people complain that the uh, neutral is hard to find. But actually, it's not too bad. I mean, it is on mine. It might be just a Suzuki thing. You keep it about 5,000 revs and it goes very nicely. It's such a pain in the ass just to turn this way. Oh no, it's now 15 limit, that's why everyone's going slow, right? Whee! I want to find somewhere quiet to review this. Nothing beats traffic for that real world test ride feel. If you don't know about this bike, this is basically the new version of the Suzuki Gladius. It's the unfair version of the SV60... 60? SV650S, which is a bike a lot of people do the middleweight TT on because it's very easy to tune and get the power out of. Same engine. Oh, excuse me. The Gladius, they put it, they got a, what is a fairly aggressive engine and bunged it into a soft. Um, no, oh, fuck it. Bunged it into a soft design. Like, ugh. very feminine bodywork. They put it into some very feminine bodywork. Oh, I'll get there in the end. And called it Gladius, which is one letter off Gladys. I think they're probably hoping it reminded me of a Gladiator, but I'll be quite honest, it didn't. It just reminded me of Gladys. It reminded me of a lot of people of Gladys. No one wanted a Suzuki Gladys. I mean, those that did were not disappointed with what they got. But they thought, well, we'll revamp it again. Flat old school headlight, minimal bodywork same punchy engine which feels lovely it is a nice engine i've got some vibration through the bars not that it's a major problem it is still quite nice that is a big puddle very flickable like, you don't take a lot of effort to go from side to side i mean there might be people who've come from something of a similar size and go no it's not so it's just me coming from a 270 kilo 1250 beast but I really cannot fault this at all at the moment. I mean, like I said before, it's a little bit of vibration through the bars. 71.4 miles to the gallon I'm doing, cruising along at 4,000 revs at 50 and 50 gear. Best I can get is 55. Back lane. Huh. I wonder if that used to be a back lane before they named it. Hilltop Cafe. That's a nice little place to stop. Wait, didn't I come out of there just now? <laughs> So yeah, please speed check area. God damn it. I should have turned off. Mind you, it's showing me what it's like at low speeds. Very low speeds. 
like 14 miles an hour speeds. Actually, this must be the other side of the bit I went past earlier, which I didn't record because I forgot to put my fucking camera on, but that wasn't the important bit, this is. So hopefully I'll remember to turn the camera on this time. Come on, it's the end of the 30 limit, what are we doing? on there and done it. Oh well. Oh no, actually I saw one of I didn't say that at all. Certainly not because it's someone's house. Whoops. Mirrors are a bit stiff, as you, know, you saw earlier. Not a hydraulic clutch, just regular cable clutch. If you like this video, be sure to click like and subscribe. Yeah,